please go to platform number two. That's platform number two, eastbound towards Stratford. There is no south west train, which will have to take fucking one bus from there, from Rochester back to New Malden, no, from New Malden to Vermilden, from Vermilden to Clapham Junction, Clapham Junction, I have to take a train to get to Waterloo, Waterloo to Canary Wharf. Fuck's sake. I have to take a bus. I have to fucking find a bus. Okay, they should be replaced by bus somewhere. That's the trouble when things go wrong in London. That's why I use my fucking motorbike most of the time.
Basically, we find a lot of dogs. We have a lot of money. You can stay here like a rest of If you don't, it's way too expensive to live. And that's why I'm trying to get out of London myself. station this is where I meet most of my clients for my regular work if you can see with a manager is a cafe A lot of people come for the lunch, for the business meetings. This one. Sorry for my flu, because it's cold. Oh, 
on your right hand side is a Chinese restaurant floating Chinese restaurant I believe on my left hand side is a Nutfield gym Yeah, there's a supermarket and the restaurant. I do about this mistake. The upstairs is a restaurant, downstairs Chinese su supermarket and food shop. And these are blocks of flats. A lot of flats. Very small, very expensive. Wolf. all the high-rise buildings there was nothing about five years ago about five six years ago there was nothing now so much going on this can ever go what in billions of billions of pounds and the Qatari investment authority and Qatari government they have invested in the Wolf group as well as your tallest building in Heathrow, Sainsbury you name it the investments are in everything and I'll be there. Small country, big investments. Indian have a lot of investments in the United Kingdom. All the boats, these are houses. So they convert all these boats into houses. So I think so all these, they used to transport goods. They're very old boats and quite massive from inside. I doubt that you can see because it's a bit dark. As much as I understand, all these docks used to be for import and export of the goods across the London. They built up the docks, canals, small canals across the United Kingdom to bring the goods in and out. They all used to be connected with the river system, River Thames, and a different rivers across the United Kingdom. old days they used to be a very nice old bridge right here connecting from this side to the other side by walk is a wooden bridge but they removed it people used to dock their boats here along the way for all the residents who used to live here in this area and across the docks their yeah, small boats used to be parked here so they can boat ride but now i think so they stopped reason because everything is access is blocked and it, everything is more commercial now so nobody's allowed to do anything here. Now it is, seems like, that seems like it is now end of the day trip, which was a terrible trip, but end of the day's experience, which I shared with you. It's not that easy in London. Sometimes when there is no transportation, you have to replan and everything, and it takes a lot of time and a lot of hassle and you get really pissed if the things don't go according to your plan. So, it is end of the trip for today. And then I will see you next time with a different adventure. And I hope some more pleasant one, not the one I have today. See you later with a new vlog, a new experience. Take care.